so there I was. Middle of the Everglades. By myself. Staring down an almost 18 foot python. Holy shit. That is a big bitch. What am I gonna do, son? I'm gonna catch that f oh. Oh. Ah, god damn! So I start this python hunt like I do any python hunt, you know? Heading out my little 14 foot John boat by myself and I'm going out middle of the Everglades to check some of these spoil islands, trying to find me a monster python. When I first got up on the island that the big girl was on, there was no clear indication that she was on the island until I started making my way around and hell, there she was. I could see the tail end of her sticking out of some grass and just by the size of that tail end of her, I knew she was massive. You know, she had a big old booty on her. Holy shit. That is a big bitch. Oh, that is a big This ain't gonna be easy. Because I'm in all this vegetation right now and she's all intertwined in it, I'm probably gonna have to go right for her head. Whew, my heart's pounding, son. I haven't caught a big one like this in a while. She might be the biggest I've ever caught. God, she's big. All right, here goes nothing. I slowly started making my way through the vegetation, you know, keeping off of her a little bit. I didn't want to stress her out, get her all riled up. She definitely knew I was there, but um, she was not real concerned with me. You know, she's, she's the baddest thing in the swamp. And I start to realize that this ain't just no ordinary big python. This is possibly the largest python I've ever seen. And um, in fact, it turned out, turned out to be. Um, you know, 17 feet, 6 inches, 135 pounds is a hell of a snake. She's just kind of checking me out. I grab a hold of that tail, and it was a hell of a ride. She started taking me out into the swamp. The last thing I wanted her to do, I dug my heels down into that limestone, and I was able to stop her. Um, I wasn't gaining on her none, but she wasn't gaining on me. We were, we were having a damn Everglades tug of war. She's too strong. My heart is pounding out my chest. I'd be lying to you if I said it wasn't. Not necessarily so much worried about this snake killing me, more so worried about me losing control of the situation and she getting away from me. That would devastate me. Um, I've never lost a python and I damn sure wasn't gonna start with the biggest python of my career. Coming for me now. That's what I want. Come on. Come on, get me. Come on, get me, you big dude. Come on. You gotta bite yourself. And, um, you know, my, my plan to get her to basically piss her off and get her to turn and start striking on me, it, it worked. Oh. 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 Ah, God damn! Ah. Ah. She got me good. I'm f***ing leaking everywhere right now. I hope she didn't get an artery. God damn, I'm leaking good. I think she got an artery. Not trying to put too much pressure on my arm. God damn. She got me, son. Didn't have a lot of power behind it, but that's all she needed. Those teeth are as sharp as it gets, and she sunk down into my arm, down into a couple uh, main veins coming off of an artery, and I was painting the swamp red. Thankfully, 
very luckily, and, and, and I gotta thank the good Lord up above for this one, she did not latch on to me. If she latched on to me and tried to coil me, I might not be sitting here doing this video with you. And I, I can honestly say that. A snake that size, um, I've had a snake smaller than that overpower me. And uh, you know, she's solid muscle, I'm definitely not. So I got very, very lucky with her giving me a defensive strike, me to being able to grab her right by the by the head when she bit me get her right off and now i have control of her yes i'm bleeding out like a stuck pig but i got control of her son this ain't good i think she got an artery i'm leaking everywhere i'm gonna have to cinch this shot try to get her in a bag i don't think i got a big enough bag I get her under pretty good control. Um, I'm, I'm on top of her. I, I got her. She's, she's tiring out. She don't got much fight left, but I'm bleeding out bad. Um, I'm not so much worried about bleeding out and dying from blood loss. I'm worried about bleeding out and the sun getting to me and all this energy I'm exerting where I black out. And I'm already starting to feel lightheaded, so I know that's a real possibility. If I black out in the middle of fighting this snake, what's she going to do? She's going to wrap around me, and she's going to finish me off. So that is the last thing I can let happen. I'm going to have to cinch my arm shut somehow. Ain't going to be easy. Time to get her to the boat. I know, girl. I'm worn out, too. God damn. All right. I'm going to have to drag her back. Which ain't going to be easy. Ain't gonna be easy at all. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to leave this GoPro. I ain't gonna be able to do it both. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Ah, God damn my arm. She f***ed me up. So now you think the tough part's over, but it ain't. I got a live, pissed off, almost 18 foot python that I gotta get back to my boat so I can shoot it in the head. My boat ain't close and I'm wore the hell out. So now I know I gotta throw this snake up on my shoulder, carefully drag her back to the boat inch by inch, not letting her wrap around me in the process so I can shoot her in the head, take a breather, and get the hell out of there. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, this moment was huge for me. Um, I put in a lot of work, a lot of time to specifically find a monster snake out on these islands because I knew, I knew they were out here. And, um, you know, this was a huge moment. I knew, if I'm being honest with you, I knew that sucker biting me was going to go crazy on YouTube and Instagram and all that stuff. And it did. Uh, made the news, went viral. Where's that snake now? Here's the uh, the one that got me, but uh, <laughs> I ended up getting her. That's <laughs> amazing. What what kind of firearm do you use for for python hunting? Um, generally, I'm just using my hands. Uh, I, I I capture them alive. Um, for me, that that's the safest way and the most humane way to do it. You know, definitely boosted me up a little bit, which 
which you know is cool um it's not why i do any of this and i think y'all know that but um it's definitely you know a cool little bonus and for me to see other people excited about the stuff i'm excited about is is awesome uh you know that's half the reason i do it all now what i did at the house last night was kind of lined her up with the edge of that and i just put my tape on the edge the edge of what? the pole so once we get this big girl laid out, I mean, you can just really see how impressive she is. And uh, man, is she a true monster, for sure. Very impressive. I like hearing that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think she quite measures up to that one you got. <laughs> Hopefully close. We'll see. I don't know, buddy. You want to just kind of work it out? And get it yeah, yeah. I was going to um, try to even kind of put a little tension on her if we could. I don't know. If... I want to do some kind of balance between. You know, I want to get an accurate measurement. I, I got you. Stretch it, but I yeah, yeah, no, get, I hear you. Like, I think what, what we just did is pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I think that's gonna get like the maximum and true length out of it. Okay. <laughs> So the state official measuring the snake is really, really by the book. He's not letting me stretch her out, nothing like that. We're just measuring her as she lays. Super legit measurement, best you can get. And uh, I'm all right with that, but it's making me really nervous because I've hyped this damn thing up. I've been telling everyone she's a potential record breaker. The damn news has covered it as a record breaker. So I'm gonna look pretty damn silly if she's not. Let's uh, let's hope he don't make a liar out of me. What are you looking at? Got me nervous. I'm looking here. at. I'm not. I'm trying to figure out. All right. The inch mark. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Let's suspense is killing me right now. <laughs> Seventeen seven. Seventeen seven. <laughs> hey, it's a bracket breaker. Oh <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. So what? We got it by two inches. Yep. Yeah. Love it. Hell yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hell yeah. Let me get a picture of her scratch. So we got her measured out, and would you look at that? She's 17 foot, seven inches, and she is an official record breaker. Uh, I couldn't be happier, super stoked. Uh, you know, this is a big accomplishment for me. Largest python caught in the South Florida water management program so far. One of the many accomplishments I've been working for. Um, you know, I just got the first nest for the program not too long ago. And now I just got the largest python for the program. It's a good feeling. Um, it's, it's a lot of hard work I've put in and I truly feel like I've earned it. You know, killing myself out there on those islands specifically looking for a big girl. And boom, I got her, you know. So uh, super happy, couldn't be prouder and um, it, it's a great thing. So we got the record on the length, 17 foot, seven inches without pulling on her, without stretching on her super real legit as r real as it gets but 90 percent of these other snakes can't say the same but uh now we're gonna go ahead and weigh her and i'm expecting her to be definitely over 100 pounds hard to say how much I i've been saying 150 realistically she's probably like more 130 but we'll see so uh let's throw her up there and see what we got all right 130 it's a big girl yeah. Heck yeah. Good size snake. Turned out to be 130 pounds. Maybe a little bit over. Nice and fat. We're happy. Get her back in the cooler and uh, get ready to skin her out. Not only is she a monster in length, she is a monster in weight. 
135 pounds is, is what she weighed and that is huge. That um, I'm not 100% sure, but that may be the heaviest python caught in Florida. Uh, she is a, a true monster for sure. And I felt every bit of that weight when I was wrestling with her. I'm probably 135 you know, pounds soaking wet. So uh, it was a pretty fair fight. You know, really appreciate everybody. All, all y'all's comments, views, likes, shares, everything means the world to us it really does guys and um you know we couldn't do what we do without y'all so definitely appreciate it appreciate the support hope y'all like the video um if y'all want to come down here and experience a hunt with me i can't promise we're going to catch a, a snake like this but uh you know we are quite successful and uh, i do hog hunts gator hunts iguana hunts all kind of other stuff if you want to do that Shoot me an email at pythoncowboyhunts at gmail.com and uh, we'll get you all set up. And definitely appreciate it, guys. We'll see you at the next video.